for men. Prostate cancer is the most frequently diagnosed cancer in Europe. The current standard for diagnosis of prostate cancer is based on PSA. The problem is that it's not very specific. PSA is not a perfect test. It has a low sensitivity and a low specificity. It gives us the wrong answer half of the times that we use it. The Stockholm 3 project was initiated in 2011 by me and my group. It is a simple blood test that you take and then we combined different biomarkers, protein biomarkers, genetic markers and clinical data into one single answer. What is your risk of having clinical significant cancer today? It is more precise and thereby gives a more informed decision of whether to perform a biopsy or not. Early detection of aggressive prostate cancer is important because that's when it's treatable. We have done one of the biggest prostate cancer studies in the world with almost 60,000 participants. The studies say that you can reduce the number of biopsies significantly and detect aggressive prostate cancer earlier, thus reduce the cost and unnecessary treatment. If we can implement Stockholm 3 and better diagnostics uh, around Europe, I think we can decrease mortality by half. We have supported Stockholm 3 over a number of years and I think there were three critical milestones. First one was of course uh, to get the product um, initially validated and introduced regionally. The second step was to introduce to more markets in the region and that involved a bit more business planning but also uh, the generation of some health economic data. The third milestone, which is really important, is to expand to additional markets in Europe that will require initial contacts with payers and providers in those markets, um, where we can support further uh, with EIT Health to build those bridges. The support from EIT Health has enabled us to take the test to patient faster, and that is the value. Without the support from EIT Health, we would not be where we are today. We have decided to roll out the test in the Nordic markets. We also have distribution agreement with two out of the three biggest laboratories in Europe. And we have cooperation with two laboratories in the US and Canada as well. The number of men that are referred for below risk prostate cancer has now gone down. We don't need to send so many patients through MRI and biopsy and so on, but we are catching the right persons better than